everyone, and welcome to PPW High Voltage Pulpo, alongside e. Julius Kuiper, Anthony Blackwell, and Alexander Bravado. EJ, it's been 16 months, and we are back at PPW tonight at Broadheadsville. The warlord of the Samoan dynasty, Alpha Jr., taking on the former Eric Rowan, now Eric Redbeard, in tonight's main event. Paul Bo, Alpha Jr., former PPW heavyweight champion, and one of the most dominating champions in the company's history. Eric Rowan, I hope you're ready to wrestle. Well, it's big man and big man. Anthony, what's your take? I mean, he's part of the Samoan dynasty, but this Eric Redbeard has come from tag team champion, two-time tag team champion with the Wyatt family and then the Blood and Brothers. He's here to crack some skulls. All right, it's our main event tonight. PPW High Voltage, we're back. You grab that spot, I'm throwing you out, I'm gonna power bomb your ass out of the side.
right, and now making his way to the ring, the artist, Rembrandt. You know, we just saw Tom Mitchell had some words with Rembrandt, and he got pushed right out of the uh, interview there. He was trying to get an interview. Big ego on this young man. We're going to have to see this past year. We saw a little bit of him over the past couple of years before we took our COVID break. Yeah. We're going to see. He's talking a big game backstage. We'll see if he could put his uh, money where his mouth I is. I had the opportunity to interview him with the PA College Ever Podcast boys, and uh, he uh, he's, he's an interesting interview. He, he, he's been calling out this shot to be a, the number one contender for this title for a long time, and uh, now he has to put up a put, shut up. He's in a contender, a number one contendership match here, and if he wins, he can finally uh, do all that talking and put it to action. Absolutely, and look at he is flanked by his entourage here. A real artist never goes anywhere without an entourage. Absolutely. Gotcha. Gotcha. I will say that girl with him is very lovely. Yeah. I got to see Chris Slade at uh, another promotion, and he is he is a very high-flying, exciting wrestler. Uh, the, 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 the analogy we said is almost like a Will Ospreay. That's what I, what I heard Chris too. Slade. What? Chris Slade. This, uh, Chris Slade is a very, very impressive athlete. I've seen him a few times. When Chris Slade's around, you know it's going to be an exciting match. Can you guys hear me on this thing? Yeah, you're yeah, right. Folks, we're joined here by Rembrandt on commentary here. Uh, let me ask a question here. Um, who are these people? And why is everyone that's making their debut on this match in a number one contenders match? You have a great point. Have I not beaten everyone that was in front of me? Have I lost? No. I haven't lost in two years. Nope. Why am I in this match? Why am I not a champion? You've been fighting, you've been jockeying for this position for a long time. <laughs> It's like I'm talking to the wall here. Who are these people? You're gonna have to take that up with the bat, with the brass up in the office at PPW back in Hazelton. What you can do though is you can go in and win this match and take it. Wow, great insight. I'm, 
Wow, you really earned your paycheck there, buddy. Great job. You're about to earn yours. You know, you know, Anthony, I don't know if they uh, sent you in here like that, but why are you talking to Rembrandt like that? I don't know, man. Listen, I, I, he does have a point. None of these guys have really garnished anything in PPW's doors to earn this title shot, and Rembrandt has been here and winning, so he has a point, so I agree with him. But if you talk as much as you, you, you put out, you eventually got to get in those, between those ropes and work. But you know what? Let's be honest here. That was 18 months ago. A lot has changed yeah. in, since the time we've been gone. Maybe number one contenderships, you know. 15 months later, things happen. Yeah, anything can happen to PPW tonight. It's, it's going to be a shake-up. Absolutely. Shake Here we have Ben Rudin. Wow. That little face. He's not paying attention once again. We had some words with Rembrandt. He's not happy about this match. Well, Rembrandt told me I couldn't count past five. I had to use my other hand, but it is a six-way match here. A six-way scramble. Looks like Lucha rules here. The winner will be the number one contender for Isaac's Rules PPW No Limits title. Now, Paul Bo, you're uh, cozy with the uh, upper echelons of the PPW office. Rembrandt brought up a good point. He left last year as number one contender. Why does he have to fight six other guys well, again? Well, it's been over a year. Here we go, Slade. That's what I said. Yeah, Slade I agree. and Rembrandt are going to start it out now, and they're going to tag into Encore. And like so, I said, this is Lucha Rules. First fall wins. Why don't you explain Lucha Rules to you know our audience here who's from America, Paul Bo? Well, it means anyone can make a tag at any time. And here we go, Sh Slade and Encore will shake hands. Slade is a very exciting individual. I got to see him before. Uh, very, very Will Osprey-ish. He's, he's flying all over the place, very technical, fun to watch. Absolutely, he can take a quarter off the top of the backboard and leave it two dimes and a nickel. And now Encore now with that beautiful side headlock there, and you can see him really ripping it in. Slade looks like he's gonna send him for the ride and does. Big shoulder tackle by Andre, big tip up by Slade. Says not in my house today, and now he's gonna send him off the ropes again. He's looking the point there. Tell you what, Slade looked like he's made out of rubber there. He bounced right back up like a Super Bowl. Beautiful up and over, Encore right through Slade. Gonna send him no reverses for the ride. Slade walks it up, beautiful Mexican head scissor. Takeover by the perfect assassin, Chris Slade. I caught a little off guard here. Tell you what, Paul Bo, Anthony, what a display of talent we're seeing already in the opening oh, moments oh, of this match. Oh, got a little outside interference there. Sorry to cut you off there. No problem. Rembrandt making his way into this match one way or the other. He has a point to prove tonight, Paul Bo. And he is not happy. Absolutely. Give him an inch and he'll take a foot. And he did right there. Any opportunity, Rembrandt will jump in. Absolutely. And he also knows how to manipulate the rules, whether they're Lucha rules, whether they're uh, Lord Donington's rules or whatever they're called. Encore. He knows how to he knows how to manipulate them. Encore quick as a cat. Look at this. Little gyration there. Looks like Freddie on a Saturday night in Freeland at the other side. <laughs> <laughs> they are a mile a minute here. We are starting up hot at PPW. Oh, Encore, beautiful drop kick right on the button. Rem Rembrandt ducks out of dodge. Tell you what, we're really seeing, as you said, everyone's athletic ability on full display here. There is no room for shortcuts in this matchup tonight. Beautiful takeover by Elijah Eden. Getting the crowd into it. Encore is going to roll out, and that's another way you can go out. If you roll out of the ring, then another person comes in, another part of those Lucha rules. They fill the spot, yeah. Big Ben Rutten now in. Drop down there by Eden. Look at, oh, look at that display of strength. Oh, oh, man. How about that, Anthony? Big right hand. Someone needs to check his teeth. Now, I'll tell you what. You know where he'll be spending next summer? Ben, a ch Camp Chippetooth, of course. Absolutely. Don't ruin my joke. <laughs> oh, big senton. Ben Rudin is the dark horse in this matchup. Uh, all these other guys have similar frames, similar builds. Ben Rudin, he's the bruiser in this matchup. Here comes young Seymour Green into the wheelbarrow. Tries to duck down, Rudin holds on. Let's him up, oh, oh, beautiful high knee by Green. Now a spinning back kick to the midsection. Seeing some MMA style here. Shades of Kenny Omega there. Yeah. Oh, Rembrandt, Rembrandt's going back in here. Rembrandt now picking his spot. The ultimate opportunist right here. 
As we were saying before, Rembrandt oh, will take- Just tip slapped him, EJ, didn't mean to cut you off. He will take every opening there, and you know what? Maybe he is wasting an opportunity here. Instead of putting on a more devastating move, he's trying to humiliate his opponent. Yeah. There he goes. Oh. Why is, oh, look at this. Oh, plants him down. Jeez. Seymour Green laid out. I'll tell you what, he splattered him like paint on a Jackson Pollock canvas. Absolutely, and Slade now winds him up, kicks down the knee. Rembrandt, so versatile. Oh, man! This is called the Mr. Biggs. This this move is uh, a tribute to Matt Travis. What it, oh, almost finished with almost, it. Almost, finished almost. With it. And a kick out there at two by Slade. He knew right where he was at that moment. He had to get himself out. There's that ring awareness now and bodies everywhere. Rembrandt standing tall right now, EJ, in the middle of that ring. These, uh, everyone in this match is making their debut here at PPW. Putting on a great show. With the exception, of course, of uh, Rembrandt. Yes. Oh, of course, I'll have to tell you something. He's slapping everybody. Compared to what we saw before the pandemic bubble, Rembrandt has been training, he has been working out, and you could tell it's paying off here tonight. Yeah, absolutely. If there's one thing we can never question with Rembrandt is his toughness. I mean, when he when he smashed his legs off that guardrail a couple months uh, before the pandemic, the, the, guy, the guy kept going. He's, he's, gonna, he's, not, he's a machine, he's a machine. Absolutely, and that machine is being tested to its limits here as he rolls outside the ring. And now there's four men in there Eden and Encore, Encore ducks out of dodge, but he is the legal man in, now tagged out. And in case our fans don't know what we're talking about, Rembrandt did a 450 and caught his leg on the guardrail in a PPW ladder match, I believe it was, about a year and a half ago. Uh-oh, everybody up top, London oh Bridge is falling down. Oh boy. Oh no. This is gonna be good. What goes up must come down, Encore hanging on. I'll tell you why, Encore, he, hold, he held on. They're up in the electric chair. Interesting maneuver. Look at the offense. Oh, we're really testing the, this, the low ceiling here. I mean, <laughs> how about that for an encore, EJ? Pun intended all the way. Absolutely. He, he could have grabbed that I beam when he was, he was that high up there. That might be the end of the show Fas there. Fasad we might not will even have that eye next week. <laughs> next oh. month, Facade will be back here. He'll be hanging off those I beams. I don't, Albert's I, I confused. There's, there's four people in there. He can only count to three. He looks like Little Red Riding Hood with that hood up. <laughs> and now Rembrandt ducks. Side Russian leg sweep by Encore. Pops up. You've got to like this Encore, Anthony. Yeah, he's unbelievable. He's a total package. He I can, can move. tell you. He can move. Wow. Oh, oh man. A little coffin drop. Right into the, looks like he caught him on the inner thigh there and Rembrandt holding his leg. Ben Rutten now trying to clear the cobwebs, trying to get back to his feet. Rembrandt out, Cosmic over to make sure that he's okay. I'll tell you what, Ben Rutten's one of those guys, when he's down, you want to try and keep him down. You don't want to let him get back up to his vertical base. That's going to spell trouble for all five of these opponents. Nice one-legged drop kick by Encore there. He's, he's really, uh, he's clearing the house here. He, he's in full control. He's got, he's got everybody right where he wants them. Encore ducks the line. Rutten there, looks like the pick him up. Look at that! Planted him right in the middle of that ring, but Root knew to get out there. Encore uh, laying in the middle of the squared circle there. Mile a minute action. You're watching PPW High Voltage. Paul Bowley, Julius Kuiper, Anthony Blackwell here taking you every step of the way. Thanks for tuning in each and every Sunday night. We are back, EJ, Paul on Bowl, prime time. You keep, getting these, you keep getting these third men from the unemployment line. Can't you get a, a, a real color commentator on here? <laughs> Last time it was bravado. Now it's Anthony Blackwell. Oh, wait till next match when you get Freddy. Oh. Yeah. He'll be thanking Anthony for sitting here. <laughs> oh, small package by Slade. One, two, three. Oh. Two and a half. Oh, Slade with that. Oh, step up in Seguri by Slade. Down, down, to, oh, he was, I said down to a knee, but he's rolling out. You know what? Encore may have spread himself too thin in the early moments of the Oh, uh, Tope Conhilo wow. by Chris Slade. Unreal, Paul Bow. This isn't a high ceiling here. His foot almost hit off those rafters. Oh, he got oh. up there. And Rembrandt just nailed him from behind there into those unforgiving steps. Paul Bow, those are made of solid wood and steel. Oh, taking advantage here. One, two. Two, oh. three quarters. 
Slade got his arm oh. up in the nick of time. He knew right where he was. If, if Rembrandt wins this, we will never hear the end of uh, it. Who the hell wants to hear that? Oh, my goodness. Uh, he'll be painting portraits of himself. He'll be building statues, you know. You talk about a more arrogant, pompous person in the world. Oh, man. Big spinning back kick by Slade. Into a cutter. Oh, a cutter. Cover him, young man. Cover him. There he is. He's going for it. Is Rembrandt too close to the ropes? Inside leg, hooks the cover. Cosmic. Oh. Cosmic there grabs his hand and picks it up oh, and now, puts it right on. on the rope. They are on the same page. That's why that's why they she, he brings him out, brings her out here. Hey, if you don't get caught, it's not oh, cheating. Oh, oh, oh. oh, look at this. Slade drags her into the ring. Hey, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. And here comes the security guard. Is that Mr. T? Uh oh, oh. oh! Oh! It was all part of a plan. Shot to the peninsula south of the equator. He had Look this. Oh, my God. That's a new driver. Oh, my goodness. And there we have it. Number one contender, Rembrandt. You know, you guys are over here complaining that that cosmic Drug him over to the rope. It may not be the way you like it, but you can't argue with results. Well, he provided the distraction right there. I didn't the see henchman. anything. Cosmic got in the ring. Chris Slade got the short end of the stick. Five other men put themselves through hell, and Rembrandt takes the easy way out, and now is the number one contender. What? This is a, a easy way. Here. He beat five other guys. He How is that shut easy? Shut your mouth. Oh, steps over. Steps right on him. I'll tell you what, what a jerk. The, the PPW audience is not, not liking this at all. They're letting them know how they feel. You told me. He told us. What he, what he is forgetting, though, is he does have to go against Isaac Rule. Yeah, I didn't see anything. Yeah. I didn't see anything. Yeah. I mean, everyone's fighting for a spot for a title here, but they, they're, they're going against Isaac Rule. He's a, he's a big monster himself. Now he's going to go one-on-one. -on -one. You know what, I'm sure Rembrandt will find a way to even the odds. Oh, with that, with that, with that posse he's got, I don't doubt it. PPW Nation, I am here with a very excited, very pumped up Andy Hedder to have his PPW Television Championship match tonight right, against Johnny John Moran. How are you feeling heading to the contest? How am I feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling alive, baby. PPW is back. We're back, and John Moran, I hope you're ready. I hope you come to the ring, and you are the man tonight, because you're going to need it to get through me, because I'm taking that title. I heard for Johnny's sake, he is ready. Back to you guys. Andy Hedder's ready to go, baby. Tuck it out of the ring. We're good. The Dark Horse, Johnny Moran.
Both these guys looking fantastic. Put a lot of work in during the off season, during COVID times. Absolutely. John Moran looks better than ever. Same could be said about Andy Hedder. Folks, you know what? If you love wrestling, you've come to the right place. Look at this, Andy Hedder is ready to go. Uh, worked for this during a, uh, right before we, we our break in pandemic, uh, Andy worked for this in a qualifying match, and uh, now he's here. It was supposed to be a triple threat, now it's down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Absolutely, and it's always nice to see two rivals go toe-to-toe -to -toe for a championship belt. Well, they, they did they did square up before a different promotion. Absolutely. With Andy Hedder being the victor. So interesting, those little statistics to go into tonight. All that matters here is what happens at PPW in this ring here. Ladies and gentlemen, your big contest is for the WLN Television Championship. When the bell rings, the third man in, PPW senior official, Mr. Jeff Carden. Yeah! They love it. They love having some Jeff Carden here. Introducing the challenger in the corner to my right. He weighed us for him at 170 pounds. Fights out of the streets of rage, Old Forge, Pennsylvania. He is the number one contender. I may be a slight biased here. <laughs> I'll tell you. you. <laughs> weighed in this morning at 215 pounds. Yeah. Fights out of Scrap, Pennsylvania. He is your winning. Dark horse here, no slouch, no slouch at all. He's had every belt in this promotion except one. He's really close to that Grand Slam. Absolutely, not an easy thing to do in any promotion, especially w with the competition here at PPW. Oh, Superman Andy punch. Hedder. What? It's all oh it's my over, God. over! And new! Johnny was jaw jacking with the ref. Oh, not the ref, the fans here. What just, what just happened? We have to get a ward. I think that's a new record, right? That, that might be the quickest match in coverage. You know what? History. We're gonna have to get a ward after this with Tom Mitchell. He's gonna have to get see what's on Johnny Moran's mind after that. Did not have. He didn't, even get his, he didn't even take his vest off. He did not even get there out of his one entrance punch. here. One, one punch. punch. One Superman punch. The bell has rang. You can put that in the books. We have a new TV champion, folks. There it is. What a way to start off the return of PPW. Yeah, what a shakeup. After being gone 16 months, and we come back to a, a one punch knockout.
All right, PBW fans, it's main event time on PBW High Voltage. Paul Ball with Julius Kuyper, Anthony Blackwell. This is a match we talked about since we saw it on the card. Eric Rowan, now Eric Redbird, taking on Alpha Junior Manu, as they called him in WWE, two heavyweights. Can we reinforce this ring? Brody Lee. Paul Bell. I think heavyweight is an understatement for this matchup. Mutual sign of respect here. Crowd chant for Brody. These are two men on, on the main roster who struck a lot of fear in their opponents' hearts. Absolutely. Nice lock up there. Both men jockeying for position there. EJ, you say it like two water buffaloes there at the watering hole. Absolutely. I mean, these guys are both just massive human beings. It's hard to get uh, an accurate feeling just how big these guys are without being next to them. And speaking of big, how big are the you-know-what on Jeff Carden when off his shirt says kill the ref? Yeah. <laughs> I would have asked for a different uh, a different spot on the card if I after seeing that. Oh, yeah. But our senior official, never afraid to get in the ring with two monsters like this. I mean, the guy already had his head busted open once tonight. I don't want to see it again. Absolutely. That was earlier on against Casey Navarro in our main event last week. I believe it was on PPW High Voltage. Or the week before or the week prior. We don't know the TV schedule, but it was sometime on PPW High Voltage. <laughs> Once they log again. up again. Both men at stalemate here. Absolutely, it's a, it's when you have two guys this size, it's going to be hard for either one to get the leverage. Alpha seems to be getting the upper hand here. Look at the size of this Rowan, though. I mean, just the size of him. Six foot seven, three hundred and some pounds. Some of the guys that were jumping that high tonight are, is, is, aren't even hitting the same height as him. No, big side headlock now by Rowan. And Alpha going to send the Red Beard now for the ride. Oh, oh. shoulder tackle. Alpha backed up but didn't give. It's a lot of man smacking together there. Absolutely. They're just trying to figure out each other out here. It is not every day that these two men meet, meet someone that they can't just manhandle. So where do you go from there? Basically, their whole playbook is out the window in this match. Redbeard, Redbeard's saying, I, I bet you can't knock me down. They're doing a little challenge to each other. I think Redbeard's going to give it a shot here. Off a of junior to warlord of the Samoan dynasty. Another oh. shot, both. He took him off his feet a little bit. You know, Rowan's a big guy, but he's not going to knock over a Samoa and Paul Bo. Oh, Rowan now back up into the corner. Redbeard felt that one. <laughs> Rowan right. wants one more shot here. And the crowd wants to see it. Red Beard's gonna, oh, does not. Now that's the kind of wrestling I like right oh, there. Oh, and Jeez. there goes Alpha. He almost put him in the front row. 330 pounds like a freight train. Crashing down on the warlord of the Samoan dynasty. Hey, when you're not expecting a poot that size to your stomach, I don't care oh, if you're the warlord the of feudal man. Japan, you're still gonna you're still gonna get folded in half. Ring oh. the back of Alpha, now a double X handle chop. And a big right hand right to the side of the jaw. Has him bent over the ropes there. Oh, man, again. All right, let's go, Junior. They are just some big hands to get hit by right there. Rowan is cleaning up the ring Giving him the with Offa Jr. We have, we've seen Offa face off against Samoa Joe, against men equal or bigger than him, and we have never seen him get manhandled like this before. Offa ducks the line, can move for a big man. Oh, there you go! Gets the big man off his feet. Absolutely. With that flying headbutt, and we all know you do not want to be on the connecting edge of a Samoan head. Absolutely. Oh, and there's another one for safety measures there. Oh, the big chop to Redbeard. Do you hear the force on those chops? We hear them through our headsets. Oh! That 
is unreal. Is he biting him? He is definitely biting him. That is that padded it Samoan style you're seeing come out here. Big overhand. Oh, elbow, sorry. Rowan get, struggling to get back to his feet. Oh, Close over the top, the top rope, rope he goes. Using his momentum. Oh, but he pulls right back up. Rowan's momentum to his advantage. Oh, and he used the ring there to his advantage as he got the neck right above that top rope of Offa. Oh, nice drop kick by the big man. It's not often you see a six foot seven man throw a drop kick like that. Redbeard, Redbeard getting the crowd fired up. That's probably, that's like getting hit by a pickup truck. Getting a drop kick from Rowan. Those two bodies hit together is like being in a car accident. I want to give another quick uh, shout out here. We got a little monitor here in front of us. The Close Fist uh, production team here doing a fantastic job. Absolutely. Shout out to Russ. Absolutely. Shout out to my buddy Sean back there. I brought him some pizza before for the guy there. He looked pretty malnutritioned back there. <laughs> I fed him back there, his lovely wife. Christy back there, doing a fantastic job for the PPW announce team. They make us sound good. Yes. Well, I don't know if that's possible, but. Look, look and sound good. The production of well, all well, is. They're not it. miracle workers here. They're, they're, listen, Blackwell, <laughs> you got a face for radio, just like me. <laughs> that's why I stick to podcasting. That's right, exactly. You're no Andy Header. <laughs> yeah, it's hard being beautiful. You guys wouldn't get it. Yeah. We do have both have great hair, though. Well, calm down there. Don't ever compare your hair to mine. Yeah, listen to Fabio over there. Redbeard still now back to the match, taking control. Off and down. I, I'll tell you what, I've seen Offa wrestle a lot of matches over the year. I've never seen him been on the short end like he has been tonight so far. Me neither, Paul. I was saying that earlier. I mean, this is just actually uh, quite impressive. Even... Even for someone who has been on the main roster as Rowan had, who has been a dominating force in WWE, I mean, it's still even shocking to see this, Paul, though. Absolutely. Can't, can't uh, tell you that enough there. That was just unbelievable. They're off and now into the corner. Here comes Rowan, the freight train. Nobody home, as they say. Rowan rolls out. Stumbling around. Now gets back in. Oh, the big boot. Oh, gets the foot right up, right in the face of Redbeard. Good clothesline. Back to their feet, another clothesline. Often just told Cardin to move like a freight train. Big Here he body comes splash. Big stinger splash in the corner by Offa. Yeah, that was like staring in, down the front of a Norfolk Southern engine, Paul uh -oh. Ball. Freight train is right. I think he's about uh, to get the I caboose think he's here. Go for the cannonball here. Off a revving up the engine. Oh, oh man. Jeez. Big posterior right in the face, floats over. Shoulders down. Kick out again at two. It's been a long time since either one of these guys were in some a, a matchup of this caliber. Just two guys really meeting their match and uh, styles clashing here for these Absolutely. two. Absolutely, and both men putting on a great match here in tonight's main event on PPW High Voltage, only on WYLN. Oh, cross body block by Redbeard. Quick to his feet. He's calling for it. You got to be impressed by the agility of Redbeard. Unbelievable. Well, this might be it, gentlemen. Offa of is slow getting to his feet here. There's the claw. Censor of that off WILM. We can't show that, the claw. <laughs> Back in the days of Black Jack Mulligan. Well, I'm glad someone knows their history in this commentator. Oh, oh, man, how close was that, I thought that, that was it. I thought that was it. He had him almost put away. The Samoan Storm got an arm up. This crowd is another another match here where the crowd is definitely torn on who they're going for. Both, no, both, both loved guys. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Off of from the Isle of Samoa, now residing right here in Broadheadsville, so he has some local roots now. Slips off the back, pushes him into the ropes. Big oh, super man, kick. big kick by Offa. Bounces off the second rope. Got him up. He got Samoan him up this drop. time. Samoan drop. Offa floats over, shoulders down. Oh, just 
almost the three count. That close to putting him away here. We're going to the top rope. You know why? Offa Jr. showing him, showing Redbeard. He's not the only big man with agility here. Offa off the top rope. Oh, no, no water in the pool as he misses wildly. Redbeard rolls out of the way. Both men laid out. Jeff Carden begins the count here. First man, Anthony, to get to his feet is going to have the ultimate advantage here with these two titanic of a man, should I say. They, they Mammoth. Both, they both are just kicking it out of each other and uh, exhausted. They're, they're, they're into those reserves in their tanks. And uh, it's going to see who really wants it at this point to find it's out. Down who, who to the nitty there. gritty here. I'm sorry to cut you you're, off. You're right. We have the Samoan dynasty. We have former member of the Wyatt family. Absolutely devastating blows from both men. Both men exchanging haymakers, as you said, EJ. Oh, oh man! Both men went for the same move, off a rolling, trying to get, out. looks like he's gonna roll out of the ring, and he does. Both out of the ring. Right here in front of commentator's row. Putting Jeff Carden to work tonight in his counting abilities. Off of trying to shake the cobwebs now, EJ. Yeah, and we know there's gonna be some spiders coming out of those ears after, an, after a blow like that. Absolutely, off on all fours, trying to crawl around the ring. Both men are being counted here. Countering at six. You know what? I mean, I'll tell you what, when you're that size, it takes a lot of energy just getting up. We're at an eight count. We're at an eight count, boys. Nine. Nine. Ten. Oh. That's 10. Oh. That's oh, 10. Man, a double count out double here. Double count out. I don't think this is over here. The crowd does not like that. Off, I got a chair. You know what? We are in a dangerous oh, position oh. here. Stand by for flying objects. Oh, oh man, my. right in front of us here. Do you we feel are the in the splash zone here. The we got two whales going here out comes of that Freddy. sea world. Here comes Freddy, speaking of Orca. Oh, my. The locker room is clearing out. The, everyone's coming out to stop this. This is bad. This is not good. You don't have enough people. You need more. Somebody hit Carter. You need please. a SWAT team in here is what you need to stop these two. Freddy has two broken feet. Why is he out there? This is spilled, it's carnage everywhere. Someone needs to get one of them out the door here. Get them out the door. I feel like we have some unfinished business here between these two men. This, is, this isn't this is gonna be over by a long straight. Don't point this way. They're pointing over this way. He's still calling for more. Eric, Eric's not done here. You know what? I if I was Jeff so. Carden, I would be in my car and on Interstate 80. Oh, here, right we go. Go. Oh, no. here we go again. Oh, my God. You know what? This is going to come right on our laps. Don't or not, please. If you do not believe me, just watch. Paul, get in there and stop this. What are you, out of your mind? The crowd wants him to go. You know what? I say let him go. I say ring the bell and keep it moving. That Come on, Freddy, you're the GM. Do something about this. Freddy has, Freddy had two broken feet, and he's out there in the middle of a melee. You gotta give it to him. Off is not done. Off is this not is done. a dangerous situation right now. This is not good. He wants another chair. More chairs. This is not good, folks. This, this has a potential to de-escalate into unhinged violence, folks. I came to help out my commentary and I'm in a back, I'm in a brawl here, this is crazy. You can feel the danger in the air. We're gonna keep it right here, we're working overtime here. Oh, we're not going anywhere, uh, folks. TVW High Voltage, they're trying to get off into the back, he has lost his mind oh, Eric, here. Eric Redbeard sitting in the ring with his back to him. Off his back to him. Disrespect, and if there's one thing you don't wanna do, it's disrespect to Samoan. Gentlemen, thanks for tuning in to PPW High Voltage. Free Julius Kuyper, Anthony Blackwell, Freddie Akers, who's right in the middle of a brawl. Hi, Paul Bo. Wait a second, wait a second. Oh, here comes Alpha again. Oh, come on. 
We're gonna stay right here. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. You see what I see. Look at this crowd. Oh! My God. Wow. And on that note, guys, to all, a good night. I think Eric's asleep for that as well. Dr. Frank at ringside coming in there. Definitely unfit his business with these two men. Absolutely. Good night, folks. PBW Nation, Tom Mitchell here with Alpha Jr. Now, Alpha, I mean, the match did not end the way you wanted it to. And I can tell you're not in the best mood right now. Can you give me your thoughts on what happened there towards the end? What do you mean, what happened? What happened is I had a goal. My goal was to come back to PPW The Return. Make my return a former PPW World Heavyweight Champion. And I was gonna do so in spectacular fashion against one Eric Rowan. Eric Rowan, me and you, we know each other very well right now, don't we? Huh? Me and you, you thought you were just gonna come down here to the little leagues and bully your way through. Uh-uh. This is the Samoan Storm Country. This is PPW. This is my home. And when you're in my home, you will bend the knee to your true king, Alpha Junior. So Eric Rowan, I will see you again. And next time I see you, your ass is leaving in a body bag. How's that for an interview? Well, fans, that concludes another great episode of PBW High Voltage. We'll see you next week.